guys, so today I'm doing a my writing story slash journey video. This is starting in October of 2013. I started writing in late August of 2013 consistently, and that was actually my first time cantering right there on a horse named Enzo. I did ride a little bit whenever I was 10, but this was really my first time, you know, getting back into it because I stuck with it whenever I started back in August of 2013 and consistently was taking at least one lesson a week for most of the time I've been riding really and yeah that was my ninth lesson right there and now we're going to my last lesson at the barn before it closed down due to the trainer moving away this is my 31st lesson in April of 2014 on a horse named Allie and she was actually, this was her for sale video right here. But as you can see, I'm definitely getting a bit better. Now I am at a new barn and this is my fourth lesson there. And this is late May of 2014. And it was my fourth time jumping. And this is Ben. If you've been around on my channel for a while, you will probably recognize him. Now this is from late August 2014 and you can definitely see my jumping is starting to come along. And now we are in November of 2014. So in November of 2014, I started leasing a little black thoroughbred mare named Blackie. And I was also taking weekly lessons at my normal barn, and this is a horse named Oliver, who I was riding for a little bit in December. And here I am later that month on a little hack on Ben. So now we are in March, and I also wasn't leasing Blackie at the time just because the weather wasn't too great during the whole winter. But I did go out and visit her quite a few times whenever I wasn't able to ride. And here are some clips from my lesson on Ben in late March. And here we are in late May 2015. So now it is late July on Blackie and I've been working with her for a few months at the point that this video was taken. And this was definitely one of our best rides. So now we are at my second show ever. My first show was an IEA show, and right now I'm riding Ben at a show at my barn, which was a lot of fun, and we actually got first place in this class. And here is a little clip from my IEA show in late November. So now we're in late December, and this is a lesson on Jinx. So here in February, I have one of my best courses on Jinx, and this is actually the course I'm talking about. So I'll just let you guys watch this. This was my last normal IA show of the season and I actually got first place on the horse I'm riding here and his name is Snoopy and I qualified for regionals at this show. So here I am at IA regionals. I got second place in my walk track class and fifth in walk track canter so unfortunately I did not qualify for zones due to a simple mistake of picking up the wrong diagonal which still is so incredibly frustrating to me to this day to think about. So now we are at March of this year and this is my last lesson at my old barn after regionals and then I move to the barn I am currently at. Now I'm going to be showing clips from April of this year up to June of this year. 
Now all of these clips are on Junior, who I have been riding most of the time that I've been at the barn, and this is actually one of my favorite courses, so I'm showing it to you guys. I'm actually really proud of how this went, and I just love watching this, I guess. Um, just a big improvement from where I was at because it's a lot more focused on technique over the height of the jumps, although I love jumping higher, but it was really great to get the technical aspect a little bit better. So in June, I took Junior to my first ever show that I brought a horse to and we ended up getting champion, which was really exciting. Then I started riding Cory and I took him to a show last week and we ended up getting champion, which was also really exciting, especially because it was my fourth time riding him. So that is it for my riding story and journey for now. I'm really focused on IEA at the moment since we start team practice next month. I may be doing a clinic for IEA and my goal is to get to nationals this year. So we'll see how it all works out.